All right, we finally made it to Philadelphia. First time here for both of us. Never been to the city. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. We we're here to see uh, batteryhookups.com. This is Tom Ammerman. He's a guy that we buy batteries from. Let's go check out what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, there are a ton of batteries in this facility. One of the early ones that we got access to and it kind of started the whole thing for us are these guys right here. Oh, this is a different kind. Uh, these are essentially uh, hoverboard batteries, right? 10S, 2P, and he got, you know, I don't know, pallets and pallets of these guys that we sold to everyone. People made cars with these, people made power walls with these, people cracked them open. There's, I think, like even commercial uh, companies that uh, split and, and tore down these packs to make uh, batteries for solar installations. Um, as you can see, there are some here but they, they come, they trickle in and he waits until he's got like a few pallets so that he can put them on sale. So if you're looking for those, if you're looking to make a power wall sort of like what I have at home, then you just have to wait around until they, you know, he puts them up for sale. And then when that happens, then you'll be able to buy them and then build your own power wall using hoverboard packs. wires positive and negative so if you take two of them back to back put a screw there you got a 48 volt pack and then you oh. got your positive and your negative uh -huh. you know these are uh 30 amp a123 cells two threes. and then here are the the balance yeah yeah we're gonna have a ridiculous amount of these very soon why what are those a123 there's a um 2500 milliamp cells but, so yeah. those are a little bit better than the, the uh 23 the normal ones we were doing Oh, so yeah. this is the we used to have the M1A that was the older model M1. and these are the M1Bs so these are uh, 50 amps but they're rated for like 2500 oh so a little bit less capacity. power but more capacity yeah wow so. and it's the same thing they they come from like that's the same mm -hmm. the same modules yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. It's still in the box so but that was this was out of the ones that we cracked we cracked open because we wanted to spot test everything and yeah you know, make sure the whole Another source of batteries are medical equipment and a lot of the that equipment comes with some of these cells. These are Sonata 5300s. I made videos about these and these are also going to become available because they're coming in and as soon as they have enough again then we'll be uh, they'll be able to put them for sale. Every cell is running through this. Uh, the ones that go to Puerto Rico, we don't have to label because it saves us a lot of time. Yeah. But the ones that we're selling all get uh, capacity and internal resistance labels on them. Oh, we were talking about the ones in the green tank. We got our milliamp hour and our internal re resistance. Yeah. Where are these ones? Wow. Yeah, label everything. <clears throat> yep. Keep track of it all. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's four bucks for one. You got yeah. 3,000 of these things or whatever. These, <laughs> these chargers take a little longer to well, yeah, they get right. hot. They get hot they at get, 500. They get warm at 500. Yeah. Like, these here, you can do them 500 and they like 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 so hours. These are more close to 24 hours. Dude. Oh, yeah. So you get them with 300, so they stay cold. So yeah. Cool. And see, and I didn't know that, right? So, because I don't mm -hmm. cycle the same amount as you guys do. <laughs> so when I'm comparing, I'm like, oh my yeah. God, I, there's things that I liked about this one better than 
No. These are easier to set. You just put them all on and you can set them all, but the, the other ones you have to individually set them unless you get them all in sequence. Yeah. Guess you <laughs> if they're all the same, or if one's under that won't show, then you gotta reset them all. Yeah. So there's no perfect charger yet, but... If the Lido Kala was like that, it would be perfect. Yeah, to where you could same. set all four of them at the same time, then it's perfect. It's, like, you get into a, a rhythm now. Yeah. Like, with these, you can get into a rhythm more, yeah, more set like in those. Yeah. You could, you could put, like, yeah. We like master it, like uh, when we load well, them. If you put them in like one, two, like if you, every two seconds, if you put a cell in and then you hit this button twice, it's good for all four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what I like about these. So you so you basically have to put the four cells and then you like you drop them, drop them, and then press it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas like this one, it's about, I mean, I would say they're, they're both about the same, you know, yeah. as far as like convenience is concerned. Um, What's the deal? You just press the mode button, even if they're all different, right? And it'll, yeah, it'll push the mode button, a normal test. And then, oh, and then you choose for yeah. 300, 500. Another source of batteries are these guys. It's a new type of mobility vehicle battery packs. They're slightly different. They have this metal casing that's anti-fire. These are from a product that either never came into market or it went out of the market before these batteries are made. So these are 100% new. They were built and never used. And he's got boxes and boxes of them. The challenge on these are that they come in some weird voltage, so and we are gonna have to find some custom made, like maybe inverters, so that you can just plug them into this, because they already have that little plug, sort of like the hoverboard ones. So as soon as we figure out some way to make it like easy for you guys to use them, these are gonna become available. So my job here is obviously to figure out how to use a lot of these batteries, because they are always in some form of module, uh, packaged together in some form factor that it's weird that is non-standard for people to use it uh, you know as uh, power walls and stuff like that so that's my job here so I have a lot of work ahead of me to figure out all these battery packs Why is this not working? Why is there no amps? The current, three volts. What happened? It's below two? Oh. No. Huh? I think it's going to be a new power supply. Over here. Mm -hmm. Saving batteries. That's what you're doing here. Trying to. All right, Cord, we're ready for another. Uh, oh, that's a little rough. <laughs> you let them treat little... your batteries like that? Yeah. Oh, man. Those, Those hurt them. Oh. Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's the pack we built over there. See the top one on the left? Yeah. The green and black. The green one right here. Green and blue. Yeah. This guy. So this is something we wanted to start popping out. That's a 48 volt 14S. You got all the wire leads. You got your positive and negatives, so. Wow. So we can pump them out big time, especially with the next load we're coming, that we're getting. It's gonna be a lot of these. Um, Oh, so you're you're setting up like the ones that are kind of already made? Yeah, they're already in the uh, ah, yeah, yeah, okay. 2S4P. Yeah. You know, so like these will start lining up, then we solder them, and then oh, you know, shrink wrap, and I see, I label, see. you know. You have a, like, you have a, a guy that specializes in this? Like like, well, packs? Corey's really good at solder. Oh. Like when he solders, you can't even tell if like a machine did it or it's him. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Turns out uh, uh, Tom has a boat and we're in some kind of river, Delaware River. Oh, Delaware River. 